Carson, get up! It's time to solve another mystery. You look really tired. In fact, I didn't even hear you come in last night. Yeah, I was uh, meeting a friend. We were up kind of late. Wow. You're walking kind of funny. Are you okay? I'm just dandy. Meanwhile, Jake is looking on with envy. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Let's do this one. You know that one beef eater's voice annoys the shit out of me. Jennifer, Mom just called from the tower. One of the ravens have disappeared. The tower? Ravens? What are you talking about, Nigel? The Tower of London, where they keep the crown jewels. One of the ravens that lives there seems to have been stolen. The legend says that if the ravens leave, the tower will fall. Wow! We better get over there and see if we can help out. Carson's like, I don't care. There's Aunt Miranda with some other reporters and one of the beef eaters. I've seen their pictures and books. He looks like he's in some kind of costume, but that's his real uniform. Way to make fun of British culture. Let's see what he's saying about the raven's disappearance. Chief Wood Hargraves, I'm Miranda Eagle from the Times. What can you tell us about the mysterious disappearance of one of the ravens? Oh, his voice is annoying. Ravens have lived at the tower since its earliest days, over 700 years ago. They're carrion birds, which means they eat dead animals and leftover food they find lying around. They were attracted here by the food scraps thrown out by the people living at the fortress. In the past, of course, the tower wasn't just a fortress. It was also a prison and execution site. When traitors were beheaded, their heads were placed on pikes and displayed on the tower walls as a warning to others. Yikes! Carson's not even listening because this guy's voice is so irritating. The ravens these days must be satisfied with horse meat, fruit, and eggs. Amazing. Monsieur Hargreaves, I am Mademoiselle Le Chaton, of the French magazine Allure. How is it that security here at the famous Tower of London was so poor as to let one of these birds slip through your fingers? Mademoiselle, Tower security has always been excellent. After all, we have to keep the... That's pretty much what you hear after a while. <laughs> yes, Spotty Wiles! Miranda probably tipped him off to come here, too. Sir, ahem, Tungsten Wiles from the sun here. How many ravens are there exactly, and how many are missing at present? There are eight ravens presently living at the tower. One of these is missing, a bird named Jackie. They're all looked after by Greaves, our raven master, who can't count worth shit. Now that's all the time I have for questions at the moment. If you have any further queries, you must address them to Scotland Yard. Like, Scotland Yard gives a flying fuck about a bunch of birds. As a member of St. Crispin's Cadets, it's my duty to help the guards and visitors around the tower. Darren and I keep a close lookout for injured guests, suspicious packages, or strange happenings. Do a lot of people get injured visiting the Tower of London? Sometimes there are demonstrations here. So we keep a pretty sharp eye on the ravens, but with eight of them spread out around the grounds, we can't watch them all at once. What kind of demonstrations are you talking about, Simon? Like that weirdo Chelsea? Lately, some students, animal rights activists from the university, have been protesting outside the tower grounds on behalf of the ravens. They believe it's cruel to keep the ravens here by clipping their wings. Oh, so it is, Chelsea. 
The Raven Master Greebs could probably tell you more about that. Greebs is a fanatic about his birds. He takes smashing care of them, like they were his own kids. These demonstrations have really upset him. Greebs really likes his birds, huh? Really, really likes them? Awkward silence. Greebs is the only human who the ravens will allow to touch them. Ooh. We steer clear of them. They'll bite anyone else who comes close. I've been keeping a close watch on that Frenchwoman, Le Chaton. She's been slinking about here all week as if she were up to something. Plus, she's French. She's always lugging about tons of big bags full of photo equipment and snapping pictures of everyone and everything in sight. Hmm. Yeah, Jennifer's on to you, Frenchie. I suppose she's only doing her job, writing a story on the demonstrations and all, but I think she's got a lot of nerve. Yesterday I saw her throwing food to one of the ravens over by the White Tower. That's not allowed, even if it does help you to get a close-up photo. Ravens! Territorial... Jackie's territory is just outside the White Tower. Hmm. Blah, blah, monarchy. I like this dad that's always here. The armory is full of all kinds of cool stuff. Swords and suits of armors that were worn by kings hundreds of years ago. Jake and I love exploring this place. Look, there's Greebs, the Raven Master. Hey, Greebs, had to count any Roman coins lately? I can't tell you how worried I am about Jackie. She's one of the few ravens actually born here. I can't imagine why anyone would steal would want to steal her. I've raised most of the ravens here from chicks. I feed them, look after them, and see to it that they're all safe in their cages at nightfall. So you could say you have a pretty close relationship with the ravens. Hmm. Once the tower is closed to the public at 6 p.m., I round them all up. But last night, Jackie was nowhere to be found. If only I hadn't been out yesterday afternoon giving that lecture at the zoo. Damn the zoo! I just know that if I'd been here, I might have seen something or prevented Jackie's theft entirely. You get an F, Greebs. An F for counting and an F for ravens. A double F for ravens due to your inappropriate relationship with them. <laughs> 